Hey guys, welcome to another Two Minute Tuesday. Wait, oh, I did it again. It's not Tuesday, it's Monday. This video, and obviously, is not gonna be two minutes. Maybe I'll create one minute Mondays. Mm, nah, that ain't gonna work either. I babble too much for that. Maybe 10 minute Mondays would be more in the keeping. But anyways, we're gonna keep this a short one. Today, we're gonna be dealing with a subject that has been around for a long time fingerprints on lenses, and how do we get rid of them? Well, the product has also been around for a long time, and it hasn't really changed much other than various sizes and shapes. What we're talking about? Various types of lens pens. Yep, now, a lot of you are probably totally familiar with them, but there might be some people out there that have not heard of this product. I just got this new one in here. Now, I am not sponsored by this brand or any brand of lens pen itself, these are products that I use, and I want to pass it on to you guys so you're aware of these products. Now, this one I just picked up, not for photography, it's actually for my VR headset, but as you can see, I have a few of these and I carry them in my backpack. Now, they're quite a simple little device. There's a brand new one here. It's a two-part piece. You have a little push-up, and you get a nice little soft brush on the end, and on the other side, tough fit is what they call a lens pen so you can see how the tip looks on that this is what actually cleans and gets rid of fingerprints on lenses now to properly clean your lens we I have to take my lens hood off I have to take my cover off and I need to clean the lens well I don't want to scratch the lens so the brush you just simply come in and just lightly brush your lens and get rid of any kind of damaging type particle and any excess dust. You're just cleaning that off. Now what I tend to do when I'm finished with this part is I bang this to knock any particles out of the brush before I retract it. Now on the end here is your cleaning tip and you kind of give it a quarter inch turn, doesn't matter what direction. I'll explain why in a second. You then just simply disengage the lid from this and you take your flat disc and gently, I start in the center and go in a circular motion until I've done it. And I tend to do it a couple of times, going into circular motion from the center out. That's the way I do it. And spotless, spotless glass after. These things work amazing. Now, if you're wondering why the quarter inch turn it's because, I don't know if you can see in this one, yeah, not really, but in the cap here is the cleaning product. And when you do the quarter inch turn, this kind of a microfiber pad, felt pad, rubs inside of another felt pad and it changes the cleaning product onto the tip. Now there's no liquid with this. This is a dry system, so these never expire. They never go bad. And what is this magical cleaning product? Well, your mom and your grandmother probably used the same type of thing eons ago. Have you ever seen anyone cleaning a window or a mirror with newspaper? What is it that makes that work so well? I'll tell you, carbon. And that's what is in here. There's a carbon powder in here that when you do that little turn, it transfers some of the carbon fiber onto the pad, and that is what's so good at removing fingerprints. Now, if you're wondering how long these have been around, well, you saw, I just ordered this one. But this one I'm playing with, I'll show you there, the name on there, Blacks, Blacks Camera Photography. Those stores have been gone for a long time, and that just shows how long these have been around, and it still works. As long as you still have some carbon up in the top here, you're good to go. Now, if you take your finger and you kind of give it a little rub, you will get black. It's probably hard for you to see, but it transfers some of the carbon off. So it's still good. Because there's no liquid, it doesn't dry. It's good for a long, long time. And you can get, I don't know, two, three, four, five hundred cleans at least out of one of these pens, and they're not expensive. They're typically 15 to $20, depend on make, model, brand. Now they do come in various sizes. These ones here tend to be for the bigger class. You can get tiny little micro ones 
from the uh, actual lens pen company, which is these guys here. Although they look the same, this one's actually lens brand brand. You can get a little tiny one to do your cell phone. You can also get a smaller version with a smaller tip that will do your point shoot camera to get into that little screen. So you can get one that'll fit your camera. But that's it for this one. Lens pens, I always have them in my bag. They're great and you can use them for way more than just this. Like I say, I bought this one for my VR headset and it'll stay in the case with my VR headset. So any questions or comments, please leave it down below. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. So until the next time.